Shows are sponsored by Speaker.com, iHeartRadio, iTunes Podcasting, 7stage.com. Thank you all for being here, letting me have your ears for tonight and downloading shows and sharing them with people that you care about who has an open ear. I just believe that in this day and time, you know, a lot of you guys really pushing this on people. If they do not have an ear, then they can never hear. Sometimes people just do things to pacify you. And I'm going to tell you when people are not really taking you serious, when you talk, they kind of look like they're sleepy. <laughs> right? Or you're letting them listen to something that's worthy and they, they fall into sleep. But if you cut something like, uh, if you cut the BT where it's only wide awake, that's, that, they, that don't mean they're bad people. It just means that the Most High hasn't chose them to be awakened. Start looking at the signs, man. Just notice how people are BSing you today. Whenever you're trying to talk to somebody about something that's real and they're kind of yarning, um, I usually just turn the subject to something stupid. You know, uh, I'm serious. You know, if you're trying to talk to somebody and they're going, yeah, man, I, I hear you. I'll be like, yeah, at least Keith got a fat ass, don't you? And instantly they wake up because that's where they're at. And you can usually just switch gears. Or let's say this guy like cars and he going, you know, yeah, man. So, you know, some some about to go down. Yeah, man. That's what they do. <sighs> you know, yarn and shit. And then flip it. Be like, yeah, that new BMW is killer. Yeah, man. Me and my boys were talking about that. See, that's where his head's at. That's where their head's at. As I said, it, he or she, it doesn't mean they're bad people, but. What it does mean is that the Most High really is not trying to wake them up. If, if, if Yahweh being Yahweh is not trying to wake them up, why would you waste all your valuable time trying to wake up people who really don't give a damn, man? Okay, so what does that mean? What, why would I say this? Because no man on this planet Earth of Satanism is perfect. We all have flaws, man. Yashkarai got flaws as well. But I don't try to push you on what I believe and I don't try to push you to be like me. I don't do that. I tell you, first off, I'm a man. You need to guide yourself to Yahweh being Yahweh. Now, he put men here to give us some truth, but you have ears and eyes and you have a computer. You can follow on everything I tell you. That's real talk. And most of the time, whatever I tell you guys, there's always a link to find anything I talk about. So I ain't been talking just because this is what I believe. You know, that's that's vainglory. Most pastors, they tell you what they believe and then you follow. They believe that's crazy. I tell you my opinion and I'll put some scriptures out. You can't deny the scriptures or negate. But I never tell people this is the way it is. And don't question it. Forget about it. Now, there are some times people seem to think they know what I'm thinking and they'll like to illustrate and try to finish my sentences. And that's what I have to correct you on and be like, no, let me just tell you what really took place. You're right. But for the most part, you waste a whole lot of time trying to push things on people who really don't want to hear all this, man. So it brings me to the episode. EMP slash MK Ultra. Yes, I saw Wendy Williams. And my firm opinion, like I said, this is my opinion. Um, but I know for surety that that woman saw demons. That woman saw something that she never saw before in her life. And you, you, have you ever seen pictures where they show you that you are able to see these things, but nobody else can see them but you, and it freaks you out? When people make you scared, it's oh damn man, stop playing, you know. But she she lost her breath. <gasps> it took her breath. When something make you that scared, it's not of this world. And it wasn't the most high. It was Lucifer. Satan can't wait to reveal himself, man. And he's going to each and every one of them people that's his children, letting them know I'm here. And she came back like a new bright-eyed, bushy-tailed woman. Like, I'm ready. I just been dicked down. Suck, suck, suck. I feel much better. Skeet, skeet, skeet. 
right? They reprogrammed her. She ain't going to tell you what she saw. They had to go reprogram her. And she saw it approaching her. And she didn't know what to do. Two things about that whole Wendy Williams thing. She saw a demon that was approaching her. Okay. Number one. Number two, she was on the MK Ultra and they shut her, they shut her down just to see what it worked. And um, number three, they made her collapse or she collapsed because she was a symbol of the Liberty of New York, Statue of Liberty, indicating that New York is going to fall. So <laughs> that's how I take it. Three, just think about that for a second. She definitely saw a demon. But this demon was powerful. Number one. Number two, they could have cut her chip off. But I don't see why they would cut her chip off because Wendy has never tried to go against the grain. So that didn't make sense to me for her to cut the, to cut the chip off. You know what I'm saying? I really believe that she thought to be in good spirits. But Satan decided to pay her a visit and it, it just took her for a loop. She, she couldn't believe that, oh my, sh- Lucifer is here. And she didn't know how to gravitate to it and she collapsed. I see things a little bit deeper. Definitely, I don't believe it was a demon. Because they of demon. They're very demonic. Wendy Williams sold her soul a long time ago. But I still think Wendy is a a, is a is a is is a transgender. I, I really believe she was an experiment. Now I saw some of the earlier videos, but still I believe uh, the real Wendy Williams was gone. If you go back to Wendy Williams, oh, I mean, when she first was broadcasting, it's day and night. Do not look the same, in my opinion. Um, but this Wendy Williams, the, the Wendy Williams of old, kind of look feminine. That's just me. Now you just you you go use your own eyes. This is just my opinion, right? The Wendy the Wendy Williams that first started in broadcasting look very feminine. This Wendy Williams, it looks hard. I really believe the real Wendy Williams saw what was happening and was like, this shit is crazy. They got rid of her and cloned her. And I I don't believe the Wendy Williams that first started in broadcasting. I don't think that's her. I think this is a damn thing. It. That's definitely not a woman. Whatever you want to call it. uh, They took the real Wendy Williams away a long time ago. And cloned it with a damn transgender And that's how you A lot of y'all don't understand that Think the shit is fake But it doesn't matter what you think right now I believe Lucifer revealed himself to that clone Or that transgender And it just It didn't know what to do And fail And they, they got it together They took her ass in the back Put some MK uh, Ultra Culture Whatever they put in her head And she came back just as spunky Just like nothing happened Right now, she's not the only one. If you're an anchor and you have like the seat, uh, like you're trying to get that anchor seat and it's, it's, it's top dollar, you program Al, what's his name, Al Walker, something like that. He's programmed, man. All of them. The, t- well, the view, Whoopi Goldberg. Now, Whoopi, if y'all didn't notice, Whoopi Goldberg is the leader. She runs that view. I don't give a shit what they tell you. She's the queen. If that's why she sit on the end. If they saying something that's too explicit, like telling too much detail, she'll say something and hum down. I can tell you this for surety. Uh, Latoya Jackson was on the view and she was talking about her brother, Michael Jackson. She said, I know the people that was there and I should say their name. Um, Wendy, uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg's like, uh uh-uh, she cut her. And and, and uh, Latoya knew if Whippy say uh, uh-uh, I better shut up. Now, I put this in the Michael Jackson film. I put, everything I'm telling y'all, I put all of this stuff in illustration. Michael Jackson film. All right. And you know who it was? Can you say who it was? No, I cannot say because there were other Why people in the say? house as well. Because I prefer not to at the moment, but I will say this: I would love to have a one-on-one with several people. A uh, one person I would Is love to safe? have. I would love to have a one-on-one with probably. Um, I mean, so Whoopi Go- Whoopi Goldberg is definitely a queen on, for black folks. She's she sit high up, man. I'm just telling you what's going down. She calls a lot of shots. Okay, she evil as fuck. 
So so long time ago. When Whoopi Goo when Whoopi Goo when Whoopi Goldberg first started, she was a comedian and it was like she was doing skits and it was real far away how she was doing her comedy, but it was a unique way. And uh she didn't have to. She could have kept doing that little comedy skit making money, but they wanted to bring her to HBO and etc. and she bit the bullet and like all of them. And she where she's at now. Okay. It's not about scare tactics and fur mongering. America is long overdue for tragedy. And they've been thinking about this shit for 75, 80 years. They've been planning this crazy shit, man. And I'm going to tell y'all, like I said in my last segment, man is not controlling this this time. Satan minions is control. Half these people that's in, in, in power are not human, man. They're reptile. They got on meat suits. That's real talk. That's why anybody that makes sense, they kill them and clone them. That's the truth. You can't go and, and y'all be wanting to get on CNN and tell your stories, man. Once you go public to corporate America, you're you're no longer protected. They going you go, you going under their umbrella, and they're gonna change you. They're gonna put MK Ultra. They're, you're not gonna be the same. Adam Nakumo, you, oh man, Tony Snell Watch the air at the top of your screen over here. Saying Jason Terry. <laughs> and meanwhile, the Cavaliers give up two. Wow. Can you take us through what happened with the play with Jason Terry? <laughs> and you ran off the court and hugged him and oh, really? I gave up the layup. Attention. I didn't remember that. You didn't know they were inbound of the ball? What play are you talking about? In the first half, you ran off the court and hugged Jason Terry and Snell got a layup. Because you're off the floor. Oh, I didn't know I was in the game. I'm right. <laughs> What's with the ski mask? Kind of, uh, it's my alter ego. So I just, you know, it was a gift from the Ohio State. So, figure why not. Does your alter ego have a name? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I can't tell you. Just hit back on some key points. MK Ultra is really real. The whole thing with Wendy Williams, as I illustrated in the beginning of the uh, show, as I believe that Wendy saw Lucifer. I did that. Nothing can make you that paranoid. Demons, people see things that make them scared all the time. That wasn't a, like a, oh, you know, like a scare of a prank or somebody caught you off guard. She saw something that wasn't of this world. And it was large. And she could see it with her eyes, but nobody else could see it but her. And it took, it not just shocked her, it took her breath. Nothing could take, a demon startles you. But it had to be something more powerful than a demon. I believe Satan revealed himself to her. And she, it was so profound and, um, eerie she couldn't handle it she 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 took in as much as she could visually and just she, she collapsed that's where we at guys emp is real mk ultra is real and these stds is gonna get more real you may think it's disgusting you may think oh yes yes he ought to stop it that. that's fine but at the end of the day the new dating scene is gonna be webcam dating yeah, you gonna meet a motherfucker at Walmart? Like, well, here go my webcam address. Let's hook up. <laughs> you, you tune into her web, she tune into you, and y'all sitting there looking at each other. Okay, bark. Ruff, ruff. Okay, okay. Pull your nipple to the right. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Okay, now you hit your balls with a baseball bat. The little baseball bat. Get the remote control. Which one will do it? Hit yourself with it. <gasps> uh. Oh, that turned me on. Okay, what you want me to do? I want to take that bottle of suds, all right, and pour it all over your legs, okay? Now, put your feet in there and go, damn, that look good. You like when I do that? You like when I spread my toes? Uh -huh, that look cute. Now, what you want me to do? I want you to take five fingers, uh-huh, and stick them in your mouth and go, oak, 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 okay? Oh, 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 shit, that turned me on. Y'all going to be looking at each other on webcam, giving commands on what you like, and she gonna tell you what to do you gonna tell her what to do and y'all gonna get off and y'all be like oh baby that was good yeah well well don't forget to call me tomorrow we're gonna do it again that's where we at y'all i know y'all don't want to believe that people are gonna have 
they already do. Ain't know what they gonna do. Motherfuckers are hooking up on the well and having web sex. <laughs> Shit. She live in Switzerland and you in America, y'all hooking up and yeah, I'm on you. Now get close to the camera. Oh yeah, what you want me to do? You want me to, you want me to moan? Moan loud and call me daddy, bitch. <gasps> daddy. <gasps> daddy. <laughs> Slap yourself, ho. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Shit, it is what it is, man. Even though, as I said before, the most high said, even in time of destruction, we're going to laugh at the calamity. People going to be, they trying to rape my sister. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I'm telling you, I know that's why I, I, this to me is like time overdue. I'm like, I hope it happened. I really hope it happened. I am not worried. I don't sit back and go, Lord, wait in the water. Somebody in the water. Oh, Lord, help me. Wait. <laughs> Shit. I ain't thinking about it. And if now so deceiving asses want to black this bitch out, purge this bitch. Let's, let's rock and roll, man. If uh, um, anti-fee or whatever they call that shit, anti-whatever, if they want to get radical and start a race war, man, let it pop. I'm tired. And on top of it, it's long overdue. The quicker they pop this bitch, the faster the Hebrews rise. That's what y'all don't understand. So let's talk about this private policy. What is the private policy? The private policy is to replace celebrities and public figures that pose a threat or refuse to be controlled. I know some of you guys are saying... Man, I don't know about this conspiracy, dude. I mean, this is going too far. Man, I think you're losing all your credibility, man. You're losing all your credibility. Let me tell you guys something. I'm not going to stop speaking truth because you think I'm going to lose credibility. That's not what I'm about. Truth is truth. But I'm going to still say this is my opinion, right? Now, you see, a lot of you pro-blacks, black nationalists... Um, that speak about racism, speak about white hegemony. I can't take you guys seriously. You know why? Because you have people that are being replaced right in front of you and you ignore it. Not only you ignore it, but perhaps you just can't see it. I think that's it. So it's either you're ignoring it or you just simply can't see. How can you defeat white hegemony when you can't see when your celebrities, when your public figures, when your black leaders are being replaced. It's not possible. Let's take a look at this first news story where it says Mike Tyson lookalike rapes victim in Houston, Texas. Now, I want you guys to go and search for this video. And when you take a look at this news clip, that individual looks just like Mike Tyson. You see, when they're ready to replace Mike Tyson, they're going to do it. If they haven't done it already. I haven't really looked at it um, in depth. But I know he has doubles walking around. Take a look at this video clip. You tell me if that doesn't look like Mike Tyson. Right? Then we have Putin, long dead, says ex-wife. Vladimir Putin has been replaced a long time ago. It's come out. No one has spoken about it. Here again it says, the elite killed Putin. My husband was assassinated. He is dead. This is his wife saying this. His wife is coming out saying her husband is dead. But of course, no one talks about it. Again, my husband was long dead. I want you guys to go and check out those articles and read it. I told you guys before that Chris Brown has been replaced. And of course, people still are questioning if um, it's real, if it's true. They can't believe it. How could they do that? Very easy. Now, I haven't spoken about this yet, but Barack Obama also has been replaced. Now, again, if you guys have eyes and you take a look at those two images, you can see those are two different people. 
but of course most of you guys don't have eyes I mean you have eyes but you can't see you can't see minute details you can't read faces and of course your beloved Michael Jordan has been long dead and replaced but you guys still go out and buy Jordans and worship this man as if he's still alive it is a spit in the face of Michael Jordan's legacy to not even be able to discern that your icon has been dead and replaced. This is why I can't take you guys seriously. I just can't. It's just so obvious to me and many other people, but the masses still can't see. They can't. A woman claims a man who looks like Mike Tyson lured her into a sexual assault. Police say the man, claiming to be the, box, the former boxer's manager, invited a woman to an after-hours club in Houston over the weekend, and that is where the victim says the look-alike sexually assaulted her. Now, the look-alike even has a tattoo similar to the one Tyson has on his own face. The real Mike Tyson heard about the investigation and shared a photo taken with fellow celebrity Jenny McCarthy. It places him in Florida when the incident in Houston took place.